Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we created this bootstrap for sort of image swap fade effect. Pretty easy to do. Today what we're going to do, we're going to do a similar thing and we're going to have this zoom in or scale in effect. Now what we're going to do for expediency rather than rebuild these whole things I'm going to start from here our last one which is the fade effect and you can download the project file so you've got this also below this video and our editing today we're going to be using brackets text editor any any text editor will do but if you don't have one you can download this free one from a link below the video also Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this so we've got another copy and we'll start working on our copy. So back to our brackets. And if we go down, there's our two little sections. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. And paste it down below here. Great. So if I save that, Control S to save we go back we should now have a duplicate copy below there we go okay and these are the ones we're going to affect today and just for a brief exclamation we've got two columns here the columns have got two images in them and that's the images you see when we're not hovering over them and then inside those co columns we've got a couple of divs with some new images and those are the ones that we're seeing when we hover now we want to get rid of our zoom effect or our fade effect rather and create our scale in or zoom effect so let's see what we've got if we go up last time we created a couple of classes couple of classes IHV for image hover let's get rid of those create a couple of new classes and I'll call it IZI image zoom in Call yours whatever you want, just so you remember what it is. I Z I. Okay. So we've given that to both our images. If we go up to now, we were writing CSS on the page here. There's our first classes. Let's start a new CSS row. We'll give it a title. forward slash star star forward slash anything between the stars will not be read as code and we'll call this image scale in or zoom in whatever you want to call it just so we can find it easily and we gave it a class of IZI so it's a class always has a dot or a period in front of it IZI now what do we want this image to do when it zooms in? Let's open and close some curly brackets. Well it's going to start off being invisible because we don't want to see the second image at first. If I just save this right now when we go back refresh the page here. This won't do anything now because I've removed that hover class so this is our second image is totally visible so I want to make that invisible or transparent so that we just see this image and then when we roll over it we want to we want to have the transparency back in so you can see it again but we want it to zoom in so let's do our transparency first or our opacity which is see-throughness if you like so opacity colon zero which is totally see-through great and then what we want to do is I'm going to copy this whole thing from the IZI and opacity and I'm going to create the hover state down below so if I just paste that in there after the last I no gap and it's important you don't put a gap in there no gap colon and the word hover no gap between the colon and the H and I'll put this CSS down below so you don't have to copy it while I'm working on screen here and this opacity I'm gonna make one for fully visible zero is totally invisible one is fully visible 
increments in between like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 will bring up the visibility from transparent to totally visible. Okay, did I save that? Okay, let's save the changes, control S. With brackets, if you look up here, here's our page, index HTML. If there's a little dot beside it like that, that usually indicates that you there's a change that you haven't saved yet. So we'll save that, control S, go back, and let's see what goes on now. Okay, it's disappeared, which is good. And when I roll over it, it's becoming transparent, it's becoming visible again. But that's happening way too quickly for me. So let's go back in and we'll slow it down a bit and add our scaling effect. Okay. So in our regular state, not the hover state, I'm going to go down and let's say transition duration colon and the time that you want it I'm going to give mine a second and a quarter 1.25 seconds semicolon you put yours to however you want okay that's going to slow down the transition time the time it takes to go from invisible or see-through to perfectly visible great and the other thing we want to do we now want to make it scale or zoom in so I'm going to take it down to about three quarter size and then when we hover over it I'm going to make it regular size. So we do that with transform scale. Colon scale and open and close some round brackets and inside the round brackets you've got to tell it what size you want it to be. I want it to be three quarters of its original size and you've got to do the width and the height separately. So I'm going to say 0 0.75 comma in between and 0 0.75 for the height too. So that's width and height right there. No comma after the second value. Then when we hover in on it, we want it to be regular size. So we'll put this in the zoom or the hover CSS and we'll just change this to one because one will be regular size and you can have it two will be twice the size three three times the size 1.5 etc okay looking at that we should have everything we need image scale that's great hover fantastic let's save our changes and see if this is going to work and there we go as you can see our image on top is transparent then when we hover over it scales in or zooms in to regular size and it takes 1.25 seconds to do it and because we've got the same class in our one next door that should do exactly the same thing there we go and any new images you just have to add that class to for instance we can switch this from fade to zoom by just switching the class so if we go down to our HTML down here, here's our bottom one with IZI image zoom in. If I just switch this to IZI instead of IHV for image hover, refresh the page. Before I refresh, at the moment this one's just fading. When I refresh, this one should now scale in. There we go. And that's all you need to do with your future images. Just replace the class name itself. So there we have it. There's how to scale in an image on hover. Nice little image swap effect. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.